Hi Taurus. Welcome to Miss Marie's Angelic Oracle. Um, thanks for checking out my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. So Taurus, we are going to pull a card today for uh, your guardian angel. We're going to figure out who your guardian angel is right now for the remainder of August 2021. And uh, we'll see what their energy is about um, and see what they're uh, trying to uh, guide you through or two or you know what have you whatever it might be and then I will pull you some starseed oracle cards uh, from my starseed deck and um, we'll get you some messages from the starseed oracle and then uh, I'm gonna jump into the tarot we're gonna get some messages from tarot and then I will end it off with uh, a couple of advice cards from the uh, angel guide deck okay so Taurus, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope that August is um, treating you good. Um, remember that uh, this reading might not resonate with you 100%, so take what resonates, leave the rest behind. This reading is good for um, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in Taurus. And um, with that, you know, Taurus, we're going to jump right into it. So let's find out who your guardian angel is, who's watching over you right now. Um, remember to like, share, subscribe if uh, you feel the need to do so. I appreciate your support, your love, and kindness, and uh, helping me to build up my channel. Okay, so Ace of Cups, Taurus. Um, I find this interesting because I did Gemini's reading before you. And they got the same, um, the same guardian angel. So, Nathael. Nathael is all about rejuvenation. I find this interesting since, you know, Taurus is, um, before Gemini, right? So, um, May birthdays. So I'm going to set that card right there for you. And then we're going to jump into the Starseed Oracle and see what's going on, um, you know, within uh, the Starseed deck for you guys, Taurus. So what messages do we have, Spirits, Guides, Angels, uh, for my lovely Taurus, uh, beautiful Earth sign Taurus? What messages do you have for the Tauruses of the world right now? Spirits, guides, angels for August 2021. Um, called Soul Gifts and Training. It's time to step it up. Step it up, Taurus. So, um, okay. And then we have Earth School. How funny. Life Lessons, Soul Growth, and Study uh, Higher Learning. Okay. So, um, this is Spirit telling you that... Um, you know, you have soul gifts and you're here um, right now training that, you know, you're learning here. You are um, working on your soul growth and your higher learning. So right now you're learning some lessons in life. Okay. You are on a double mission as well. So, you know, this is a, a star seed light worker. So you serve the world by being you and spirits asking you, to step it up, asking you to um, work on your higher learning, be more in touch with spirit and your purpose, why you're here, what you're, you're doing. Be open to it. Um, Starkeeper, Cosmic Ancestor, send the light by staying grounded. At the same time, you know, you're an earth sign, you need to stay grounded. Um, but I feel, Taurus, that, you know, you really you're really needing right now to uh, surrender to something. Surrender to your journey. Surrender to who you are. I'm picking up for some reason that you, you're you getting these messages. Um, you're getting some downloads from your highest self and you're not really paying attention to them. Yeah, so the blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, and integration time. So I'm an intuitive reader. I pick up energies 
So, you know, this is for the collective uh, Taurus in the world right now. Um, you know, we're, we all kind of go through the same situations or energies, I should say. It's not the same stories, but the same energies within our particular sign, right? So Geminis have Gemini stuff going on and it's all like kind of the same energy, same with Taurus, same, you know, all of the signs. So um, this is about, you know, you having a spiritual awakening. You know, I think some of the Tauruses in, in the world are, um, as I say this, uh, kind of going through, um, a spiritual awakening you know the rest of the planet is also going through that and with the the retrograde we're in right now um, you know that makes perfect sense as well so I now have the portal card for you and this is about doors opening right this is about um, you decide uh, the rewards that you receive this is about you know making decisions a wild card I mean it's literally up to you um, you know, whether you want to recognize that you are here on a journey, um, whether you want to recognize that you are actually here on a mission, you know, um, not just for yourself, but for the rest of the, the planet and the living things here. Um, it's up to you if you want to surrender, you know, to it. If you want to, um, you know, stay stuck and, and live the life you're living right now, or if you want to open open things up and um, you know start seeing things for what they really are so we also have deep cellular healing Arcturus energy um, Arcturus energy is very healing energy so this is physical and emotional healing so you know physically and emotionally healing some things that you've been going through you know it's your choice to go through that portal um here we go weight of the world boundaries let it go it's not yours to carry so letting go of um letting go of whatever it is that's been troubling you whatever it is taurus that you know i mean there's so many things it could be it could just be relationships it could be jobs it could be egos it could be a thought process so many different things that um, it could be, but you know, whatever it is, is holding you back, okay? And um, Spirit's asking you, you know, they, they're really asking you to, um, you know, to let go of some things to allow the new to come in and, and to open yourself up and not being so close-minded. You know, I love my Tauruses, but you guys can be really stubborn at times. <laughs> so, um, you know, you guys are you just Taurus, right? So I always say this, I have so many Taurus in my family. Um, and, you know, they're all different, but they're all the same at the same time. So, one of the things you have in common is um, the ability to be, you know, kind of stubborn. So, at the same time, we love you guys for that. Um, so, what I'm going to do here, I'm not taking these right now, um, but I have made note of them. I'm going to jump into the tarot, and we're going to see what the tarot cards have to say to you, Taurus. Um and help to see if we can, you know, dig a little deeper into what the circumstances are for you guys. So, spirits, guides, angels, please bring forward messages for my lovely Taurus for the month of August 2021. Uh, and what they... Okay. What messages you have for them, what they need to know, what advice you have for them. Um... I've got the death card here and I've got the five of swords so the five of swords has been coming out for a lot of the signs um, as well as the death card the death card is all about transformation this card did pop out just a few seconds ago the two of wands um, so you know this is just a confirmation that this is the card that wanted they wanted me to talk about um, so 
Um, transformation in some situation involving some serious conflicts, betrayals, um, you know, deceit, whatever it might be, you know, um, but there's been some things that have been going on in um, your life, Taurus, that you need to start making decisions about. Um, you know, you need to transform these, these conflicts. Um, Three of Cups. So Three of Cups can be a celebration, um, but it also can be third party situations. You know, it's... Okay. I... Or just too many people in general. So what I'm picking up, Taurus, is, uh, you know, we've got the Ten of Wands. I feel like, you know, this could be a, too many, um, too many people. You're listening to too many people. You're, you have too many people involved in um, a situation, a relationship, you know, third party behaviors. Um, but you need to put an end to it. You need to make a decision. Um, the world is bringing in a change, the world card, right? It's, um, it's going to bring in a change. And, um, you know, whatever has been hidden is not going to be hidden any longer. So I recommend that if this has happened, um, you know, that's it's happened but if it hasn't happened I recommend that if this is a third party situation that um, you know stop hiding from it uh, come out with it be forward with it and um, you know because it is for your highest good it's for the highest good of everyone honesty is always the best policy um, spirits wanting this to move into a calmer place you know um, this is a lot of cards that came out. So I'm seeing the Knight of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Emperor. So we'll keep going. But, um, you know, this also could be at a distance. Something that's going on at a distance. Feeling stuck, right? Feeling stuck in your current situation, Taurus. When you're not, you know, this person is not really stuck. The chains are not locked. They're just wrapped around her arms. You know, she's blinded, but she could take the blinders off at any given moment. She just chooses not to. But what I'm saying here, Taurus, is that um, with the Hierophant, you know, um, this is going to be out, brought out in the open and there will be clarity and the light will be shown upon whatever this is that's going on. Um, you know, it could be even a work situation where, um, you know, they've got a bunch of people involved in this situation and, you know, maybe you bring conflict and you need to make the decision to stop being such a conflict or, or bringing in that conflict, you know, um, and move things into a calmer place. I feel like you're picking up on the fact that, you know, you are bringing conflict to a situation. You are someone else. And now we have the Ten of Swords. So this is betrayal, the Nine of Swords, something giving you anxiety, keeping you up at night. Um, you know, something, giving you insomnia, something that you are extremely regretful over. So, you know, yeah, extreme regret here in the Five of Cups. So, whatever this is, Taurus, I feel like, um, oh jeez, this is some heavy energies, and now I've got the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Queen of Swords, so I'm going to grab another tarot deck, um, 
and I'm gonna see, wow, I'm opening it up to the Six of Swords, okay? So something needs to be brought into a better place. You know, there's something that's gone on here that has been um, extremely, extremely manipulative. That's what I'm picking up on. Some sort of manipulation has been going on and um, two of wands again. So needing to make a decision about this, you know, if there's people involved in this, I'm not seeing, you know, any, any, you need to bring balance to it. This is, I see the queen of swords here, you know, um, it could be your partner. It could be a work situation. Like I said, um, goodness, I found this in there. Interesting. So the victory card here, six of wands, you know, victory, um, nine of wands, balance, two of wands. So all these wands and all these swords, um, you know, there's, there's both. So we've got, you know, fire energy, we've got air energy, um, a lot of that going on here. And, you know, it's all seem again, nine of swords. Um, Knight of Cups, uh, the, the Ten of Pentacles. So, you know, there's a family situation, I feel, Taurus, that's happening here. Um, this is about a family situation. So, you know, it, like I said, wife, it could be your sister, mother. Um, it doesn't have to be male or female. This could just be, you know, it could even be a male that's in the Queen of Swords energy. But... There has been some drama here, and it's starting, you know, it, it had been hidden, and it's starting to make its way into the light, right? Uh, it's been a non-stop headache going on, Taurus. And this is about a legacy. This is about, you know, money, finances. I don't know if there's a competition or something. You feel competitive. Um, okay, new emotional experience. So it very well could be about a relationship, you know. Um, it's coming to light that there's uh, another person involved in, in a situation or just too many involved, but the sun is, the sun is shining the light on whatever this is, and so it's no longer going to be a secret, um, you know, putting an end to that with the death card, so this is going to be transforming, um, this is a life lesson, this is something that you're meant to learn, uh, you need to bring balance to this situation. Yeah. Seven of Swords again. So, you know, the Soulmate card. Six of Cups. So, Taurus, whatever is going on, it's important right now that you um, bring balance into this situation. You know, uh, there's some immature energy here, and you need to bring some balance and balance this out whatever it is whatever you know has happened whatever uh, is going on here because um, you know you either need to end this situation or transform it so whatever conflicts have been going on surrender okay Taurus so you need to surrender to whatever this is. It's in your best interest and your highest good to surrender, um, you know, and, and rejuvenate yourself because this has been bogging you down. Um, your angel guides want you to know that, um, you know, for you to have rejuvenation, you're going to have to find some harmony and resolution. So when you surrender, harmony and resolution comes in, which allows for you to be rejuvenated in the future. Okay, Taurus? 
it's a really powerful message to be honest with you it's all the same cards just keep coming out from both you know separate tarot decks um, so it's you know high constant confirmation that this this situation whatever the circumstances are there needs to be some resolution um, it's a learning experience it's definitely like a karmic lesson a learning experience you know your double mission you're here learning life lessons um, you know these cards are all talking about it up here so it's time to step it up right I mean life lessons soul growth higher learning it's time for you to go there it's time for you to surrender you have surrender again so um, that's what I have for you you know it seems like you guys might be going through a spiritual awakening which is beautiful um, you know but uh, it, it is a learning experience and you have to go through this process in order to um, have rejuvenation either rejuvenation in a relationship to where you know you can have some closure and move it to a better place rejuvenate this relationship or um, leave it behind and have rejuvenation within yourself okay Taurus so that's what I have for you I hope this helps I hope that you got something from my reading I appreciate your support and I look forward to reading for you again so please check out my channel uh, next week for some more Taurus readings all right. Thank you, Taurus. Have a great week. Bye.